Hey, you're watching Jersey Shore Snooky Edition. Ow, ow. Holla. Pieces. Peace, poop. Like my poop. Hey, I'm here. Where's my table? Come on. I got Polly D and all my other gals come in. Hi, I'm Marcel. Let me check. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you don't have a reservation here. Excuse me. Uh, we's gonna get in some problems if you don't give me my table. You know, not everyone gets what they want. I would like to see you try to live in ancient Africa for a while. They had not nearly as much as you. Yeah, all right, sure. Come on, boys. Let's bring the camera somewhere else. Let's go. Where am I? More important, where's my gun pack? It's not in my purse. Like I said, you won't last a day outside of Jersey. So here we are in ancient Africa in the empire of Songhai. Okay, I'm going to visit. When are you going to take me back? Let me show you around Songhai first. You can know how people actually had to live. Polly and my girls are probably having a heart attack because I'm not there. Ugh, where's my phone? Okay, here's our first lesson, Snooky. Oh my god, school? I'm not a school person, I'm a party person. Some culture about the people is that they lived a rather simple everyday life. Their diet consists of rice, milk, and fish for the most part. Marcel, the important question is, how did they live without pasta? Anyways, as jobs, people were artisans, weavers, tailors, and tanners. Tanners? Where's the tanning bed? I feel so awkward without my normal orange. Um. <clears throat> anyway, goldsmiths and potters. Oh, I remember. Yeah, so do like women have to be all covered in Songhai? Ridiculous, huh? Good and yes, but there are a lot to walk alone without men, too. One of the rulers, Asika Muhammad, improved learning centers and encouraged people to go to schools. He was also the first to create standardized weights, measures, and currency, which contributed to the culture a lot. Okay, now we're going to do close-ups. Okay, what the heck is going on? I was going to get dinner with Polly and my gals, but now I'm in song heat. Song high. This is my chat time. Anyways, why is he teaching me about all the stuff with the learning centers that Sika made? Blah, blah, blah. Your time is up. Ugh! Okay, Snooky, now let's talk about economy. The black trading state was in the West Africa where Songhai was. Snooky, wake up! Where's my caviar? Oh, wait, I'm not dreaming anymore. Continue. Arabs from the north would bring jewels, ornaments, and sugar. Mm, I love sugar. Ugh. As I was saying, glassware, weapons, and horses. As a matter of fact, people could trade these for gold. Gold? Where's the carrots, baby? Slaves, coal nuts, and ivory. Oh, I know what's next. As jobs, people would farm fish and trade it, which were the main jobs that contributed to the economy's wealth. That was surprisingly right. I know. I read your cue card. Oh. Anyways, traders would trade other products for gold from Europe to Southwest Asia. Now religion. There, I'll stop reading your cue cards. The main religion in Songhai was Islam, and they called themselves Muslims. People also believed in magic, and people who believed in magic were called Sahantis. Oh, I love magic tricks. Where's that cute little bunny? Thanks. Songhai made Islam the official religion, though. The Songhai people became Muslim, and Muslims from the north came in contact with them in 1010. What? Wait, please just let me finish this topic. Fine. Also, one of the rulers of Songhai, Asika Muhammad, made a pilgrimage to Mecca during his ruling period. Okay, I'm quite a loss. Let me get this straight. Islam was the official religion of Songhai, and they were called Muslims. I'm still upset I can't find that cute little rabbit. Close. It's Islam and Muslim, and I've never had a hat for the bunny. <sighs> Did I say you could talk to her in my chat time? No. We're just going to have some problems if you keep butting in. What? That's it. Ah! Okay, no. Stop! Oh, okay, so now we're going to move on to government. Look like a man. Yes, sir. The first ruler was Sunni Ali, who ruled from 1464 to 1492. He took over Timbuktu into Jenny, or Jenny, 
While he ruled, he strengthened the empire and established laws like centralized government and systems of trade. This little piggy had pasta, this little piggy had bling, and this little piggy screamed and cried all the way for a car. Stop talking. Anyways, after Sumi Ali died, his son, Sunni Baru, took over for a while. The religion and government started to fade until... Oh, oh, doesn't this Asika guy that you were talking about earlier come in here? Actually, yes. Asika Muhammad killed Sunni Baru and the rest of his family because he and other Muslims did not like how he didn't care about Islam, so they overthrew him. Asika Muhammad created an elaborate bureaucracy while he lived. He also made it so that each religion had governors and their empire was bound together by the system of taxation and resource allotment. Asika Muhammad died in 1528 when Asika Musa, his son, killed him and became the leader. Oh, that must have been awkward at Christmas. <sighs> Anyways, the empire started to fall. A civil war erupted and diseases and droughts came in. The empire fell in 1519 when Moroccans took over. So you're telling me that there was disease where I'm standing now? Well, yes, I guess. Ew! Oh, where's my cure when I need it? Okay, now on to geography. First of all, Sahara. Oh, thanks. I could really go for a Sierra on this. No, the Sahara Desert ran through all of Songhai. Anyways, to the east of Songhai is the Red Sea, and bordering in the west is the Atlantic Ocean. Gaia was in the Songhai Empire, although this was all located in modern-day Sudan. Okay, are we almost done with this topic? Oh, one more thing. Kijeni, one of the cities in Songhai, was located along the Niger River. Okay, let's move on. My hair is starting to frizz from all this ancient surrounding weird stuff. Okay, now let's teach you things about social structure. I should be good at this. I'm a social butterfly. Okay, Songhai was organized into something unique called the case system. At the top was, first the emperor slash leader and family. Second was the social elites, which were people who knew royals and didn't have to be in the government. <clears throat> Third were political elites, which were advisors, ministers, governors, and other regional leaders. <clears throat> and fourth were intellectual elites, which were artisans and educators. Some other things you should know that everyone farmed, no matter what rating, even peasants. Also, not only were there Timbuktu, Guile, and Dijeni cities, they also had trading centers, which contributed to the social aspect of life in Songhai. <clears throat> Songhai was divided into two separate sections, rural agriculture and urban trading. Guile was the heart of the Songhai Empire and the heart of trains, Sahara Trade Network. Whoa, I think that was the longest paragraph you've ever said. Sorry if I bored you and the other people that are watching us right now. It's all right. So what topic will you bore me with next? Actually, that is it. My time has expired. We can go if you admit that you can never live in ancient African empires. Okay, I think we clarified this many times that I quit it. Thank you. Okay, open that door and we can get out of here. You mean I could have opened this door like eight minutes ago when this video started and I could have got out of here? Pretty much. Fine, I'll open it. This sound effect is right. My poof is hot. Join us next time on Jersey Shore without the boring Marcel. Hey! Well, it is true. Did I say you could talk? No! I am so sorry, Snooky. Don't hurt me. I have a life to live. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned a little bit more about Songhai today. I played Marcel. And I played Snooky. And if you have any questions, please ask. Or you can look at the bibliography that is next.